Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at our platformer game, and this is regarding an issue that I noticed in the last video, and I wanted to address it specifically for this video. So, um, so basically, we noticed um, in our last video when we hit play, and I'm not sure if you noticed it in yours, you may or may not actually be experiencing this, but as you see, when the scene starts, the camera is currently pointed in a different direction. And that's mainly because our camera motor is in one place. And so what happens is when the scene loads, the player isn't there yet. And so it waits. Once the player is there, then it transitions over to where the player is at. And so what we want to try to do is hide that, that movement. We want to kind of get rid of that. And so one way to actually approach this is to simply blacken the screen or completely block the scene out while kind of everything is pre prep uh, or preparing in the background. And then once it's all done, after maybe a couple seconds, then reveal the scene, basically fade the screen from black all the way to transparent. And so that's what I think uh, we're going to how we're going to approach when when we enter into a particular scene. Now, I'm sure there may be other ways to approach this, and we may actually change it later. But I think for now, um, I think this may be a, a pretty decent solution. So let's go ahead and do it. It's actually pretty easy. So the first thing I want to do is head over to my game manager. And inside my game manager, um, I have a few things. And I have a canvas. And this is going to be a panel that we're going to basically overlay. So we're going to right click on canvas and I'm going to go down to UI and then I'm going to click on panel. All right. So for this panel, the first thing I'm going to do is rename it and then I'm just going to fade in. I'm going to rename it to fade in. All right. And then I'm just going to double click on panel so we can see our full panel here in the scene. And then I'm going to go to the source image of that panel and I'm going to remove the image there. So we won't need any type of image. And then for the color, I want to make it completely um, black and I want to make it uh, get rid of any alpha transparency, right? So we want to get rid of any of that. So we have a good starting point. All right, great. So far, so good. So the next thing we want to do is actually animate this panel. And so Unity has like an animation uh, tool in here and um, I don't use it that often, but uh, I know how to do this part, so I think it will be pretty useful. So to get to it, you want to go to Window, and you want to go to Animation, and then you click on Animation here. And then when you click on it, it's going to reveal this here, this tab with Animation. Now in order to create an animation clip for an object, um, all you have to do is select the object that you want to animate, and then you'll hit Create here. All right, and when you hit create, it's going to open up a folder so you can save it somewhere on your PC, on your computer. All right, and so the idea behind this is that it gives you all types of uh, components and things that can be changed, like color or the size or whatever, whatever you want to animate, it gives you that option. So we're going to go ahead and hit create, and I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see here. I'm going to create a folder inside my animations folder, and I'm going to rename this folder or not rename, but create a folder name UI animations. OK, so UI animations. So that probably can work. All right. So I'm going to go inside that folder and now it's going to create or give me the ability to create an animation. So I'm just gonna simply call it fade in. So maybe um, UI fade in. Or panel, UI panel fade in. Let's go a little bit more deeper with that. All right, cool. All right, so UI underscore panel underscore fade in animation. Long name, but it's descriptive enough. All right, so I'm gonna hit save inside that folder. All right, perfect. So far, so good. So now when we select the panel fade in on the right side, you see that there's a component called animator and there's a controller called uh, panel fade in, which is really the panel itself. And if you select that panel and go into your project, it created an animation here and that's the animation. 
So what I'm going to do is click on this tab here where it says animation. And while this panel is selected, and what you can do is hit this button preview so we can see any changes inside of the viewer here. So inside the editor. So what I'm going to do is hit add property. Now what this again, like I said, it gives you the ability to animate all types of different components or different properties, I guess you can say of an object and objects have different properties. So we have like rotation and position and scale, that sort of thing. But we're not going to we're not going to do any of that. What we're going to do is do things that's related to the image. And what we want to do specifically is change the color. Okay. So what I'm going to do is select this symbol plus symbol and it's going to add that there. All right. So now if I were to move this here from here, it's completely solid because basically the RGB is zero, which is the color, which is black. And then one is solid, which is the alpha. So if I were to change this like that, as you can see, the alpha is completely transparent. So I'm going to change that back. So what I want to do is First thing I want to do is go ahead and put the, I don't know what they call this, but this line here, I want to put it right where these particular, uh, these marks are. Okay. And what I want to do is change the alpha from, z from one to zero. Okay. And so now if I click back in the beginning, as you can see now, as I scrub across the timeline, it's transitioning from black to transparent. And that's exactly what we want. Now, another thing that we want to do is actually change how long this transition is. So what I want to do is go ahead and hit this arrow key here. And I'm just going to kind of push it all the way out to maybe something like two minutes, maybe. And, and so I'm going to copy or click and drag all these objects here and I'm going to click and drag all of these all the way to like the two second mark. I'm sorry, not two minutes, but two seconds. All right, great. All right. So now let's see if the transition is still transitioning, but it's over a longer period of time, basically double, right? All right. So let's actually take a look before I make any other changes. Let's go take a look at actually what's happening. So we understand how we can make uh, some simple edits to it. So without doing anything, I'm simply going to hit the play button. All right. So you saw a couple things happen, right? As soon as the scene started, you saw it went from black all the way to transparent. And then it trans moved over to the player. And as you can see, it's still doing that animation. Now you have to think in your mind what's actually happening. And it's pretty simple. This animation is looping. So that's the first thing we need to turn off the looping animation. Okay. And then the second thing is we need to change how the transition or when the transition actually happens in terms of the actual, uh, the color change. So those are the two things that we need to adjust. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to select my fade in panel. And what I want to do first is select the controller panel and select it again. And then it just, it puts you where this animation is going to be. So the first thing I want you to do is select this animation, the one with the, the arrow here or the um, triangle here. And at the very top, turn off loop time. So we don't want that to loop. Okay. All right, cool. So the next thing that we want to do is select the panel and what we're going to do now is go back into our animation uh, window, select preview. And now, you know, like I said before, when you transition over time, we need this transition not to start so soon. So we're, what we're going to do is copy these particular marks here with a control C and then I'm going to move this point somewhere like, like right here, like a second, like right here. And then I'm going to hit control P, right? So now we copied this solid. So this is at one and then this is at one and this shouldn't have changed as you can see. So now what's going to happen 
it's going to stay solid. The game's going to start solid, 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 then transition. And that's the that's the kind of behavior that we're looking for. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play and let's take a look. Cool. All right, so you didn't see any movement. It's kind of hidden. That works out pretty good and I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and get killed by one of our enemies here. And uh, let's see if it feels right. All right, one more hit. Player died. All right, so let's see what happens. Two, one. Perfect. All right, so that's cool. That actually works out pretty good. All right, so that's almost pretty much it. There's one thing I do want to do. What I want to do is use a trigger to actually turn off the panel completely after uh, a couple seconds. Um, the reason is because I don't want that panel, that panel to interrupt anything UI related um, going forward. So after that panel fades and we, we put it to two seconds. So anything basically after two seconds, we can turn it off after two seconds. So what I'm going to do is on this fade in panel, I'm just going to add a trigger right on it. And what I'm going to do is basically have this trigger say on start. As soon as it starts, I want you to wait for, say, three seconds. So I'm going to do a wait command here. Wait action. Wait for three seconds. And then after that, I'm going to have you set active a particular game object and that game object is going to be this panel. So I want that panel to completely turn off and we want to set active to false, right? So that's basically going to turn it off. All right. And that's only for the current scene. So when you start another scene, it'll be completely on and good to go. All right, great. So now we're going to leave it on. When I hit play, let me make sure we're not in max mode, hit play and watch it do it. All right, so here, dark, fade, two, boom, just like that. So it's really almost like one second, right? Because remember, it takes two seconds for the fade to complete, and then we only have one second left before this completely turns off. Great. All right. So I hope that wasn't uh, too bad. I wanted to make this as easy as possible and clear as possible. Um, for our next tutorial um, for the platforming game, I'm going to jump back into dealing with our enemies and just kind of building them a death trigger for them so that they can basically disappear. And maybe we can add some extra functionality to that. Maybe they'll blink or something before they die. So, all right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. To stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or of course you can hit me up on Discord. I like to... Talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.